Hello YouTube, I'm cheating a little bit today in this Van Gogh episode. I'm going to show you several paintings and I'm going to do the same in other episodes with Van Gogh because I'll let you perhaps guess what's common with all these paintings because Van Gogh, I think, has to be looked a little bit like put several of his paintings together and just realize that he's using the same not technique, but the same uh, uh, idea, same very, very personal idea. So I'm not going to focus that much into these paintings because I couldn't find them in high res. It's, it's just not there on internet. Perhaps no one uh, took the time to scan this, uh, to see the details, uh, the way the oil was applied on the canvas, but uh, I'm still going to focus a little bit, zoom in, but it's just mostly I want to talk about the not just the technique, but the overall impression. All this, uh, all this selection, uh, I, I had a hard time to make this selection. There are obviously many more, but it's just difficult to select just a few of them. If you look at this, there is all, all, always this contrast because between his kind of orange yellow color and some sort of a dark, sometimes very fluo green, and I will call him actually the, the behind his time fluo painter because the fluo colors were invented lately, a couple of decades ago in our times. But the way he's using these colors, uh, look look at this painting. It's it's just it's it. I don't. I, I'm not a big knowledge in painters, but I don't think you could find back in his times someone who would put these colors and had such a success. I mean, he's just out of the league and it's really his own way. And I think Van Gogh was doing this that was definitely just taking his own idea, his own feeling, his own um, visualization of things, putting them exactly as he, as he was seeing things, imagining actually things and come with such amazing result, really off the path, uh, not, uh, there is no conformity whatsoever, nothing classic in there, at least to my knowledge, uh, and still it's such a personal result and such a beautiful result. It's just beautiful, it's not beautiful like, you know, people like to say beautiful woman. Beautiful woman, it's a, it's a joke, it's not real. There's no such thing as beautiful woman. It's just a subjective thing. So, but I think you can say about uh, this painting, it's beautiful, it's something particular, in a particular way, beautiful. And again, so he's, he's using uh, not just contrast between the colors, and again, again, I will call this fluo colors. I don't know how to call them otherwise. It's not fluo, but it's just uh, not standard colors, at least for that time. And also he's drawing these separation lines very, very clearly. Like you see this, this kind of darker areas here, it's separating these colors basically, because in the real life you won't see these lines here. Perhaps if you look horizontally, you may see the tip of the crop. Maybe it's gonna look darker, but I don't think it's gonna look like this. So uh, yeah, again, you see these separation lines here, and that creates this impression of making the color being very, very, feeling very real. Let's just look at other paintings. Uh, again, look at the separation lines here. It, it's not realistic. I mean, you will, you should see these lines everywhere in the crop, but he's, uh, that's uh, how he's kind of uh, uh, giving to each, each piece of the canvas its own identity, its own name, if you want, its own family name. And it's putting every, everybody together then. You also see his uh, clouds. Uh, that's, uh, I show this in uh, the Steady Night uh, episode two. I just go for another one. So again, another, another thing that's uh, striking is his paintings. It's this rather very thick, I mean, a, a wet, uh, a piece of wet is not thick like this, obviously. So it's, it's kind of, saying let's, guys let's just group like put make some small groups and I'll I'll take a picture of you this way because it's too much to 
to do every single uh, uh, piece of crop uh, like individually so uh, but still the, the 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 results it's very very striking also it, it gives you kind of a motion it's like you 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 would guess there is wind but it's kind of wind you know that wind over the fields that's going in several directions it's just blowing across the fields this one we've seen it this one i don't remember exactly again you see those lines uh lines ac across the, um, the shape of the person and it's it's a pretty interesting you look the guy is looking on a side pretty in interesting uh, look at the back of this person i mean it's quite just not too much paint but it gives you the impression of movement and uh, being uh, kind of alive if you want uh, let's see i have these flowers uh, some flowers which are not exceptionally beautiful if you want as a painting uh, but it does have again this sort of uh, it, it, if you look a few more seconds and this picture is like it's kind of like the plant are alive it's like one of those there was a movie with a eating plant i don't remember i think the little shop of war or something like that it's kind of the plant looks kind of alive it's like it's gonna move now and it's gonna perhaps not move in a good way all uh, right so let's just move on again the color the beautiful uh, or orange orange ish orange maybe yellow tint and with another shade of uh, green sometimes the pictures uh, don't uh, appear all of them uh, in the same uh, shades on internet uh, this one i like it a lot because it has this very daring very daring orange massive orange piece of orange on it is like 80 percent of the paint it's big orange i guess it's a wet crop or something like this yeah it's wet fields in your face with tiny tiny lines and then very striking these two persons if i zoom back a bit very very striking striking line extremely simple line and yet it creates something it looks a little bit like tin tin i don't know but it, it's just striking and uh, it gives some identity to this painting uh, let's see the last one i believe it's his room obviously a uh, very very uh, uh known uh, painting and i guess this one would sell for a couple of millions or more put another digit i was thinking before uh doing this video how to how to talk about this picture and uh i was thinking up some point saying he had the courage to to draw this line like randomly like there's no verticality there is no even this line if you look at it obviously it wasn't like this in real life it's like a child was drawing this kind of a, with a child hand or something like this there's no straight lines it's not courage i think he took this very personal it's just uh, he felt maybe he didn't need very very straight line in his uh, in his uh, uh, i don't know vision of things or something like this so he took it very personal and it makes things more warm and more personal i think it kind of gives lives to the objects maybe that's what he wanted to do uh, you can see this piece of uh, or rogue or whatever it is this one he's like he doesn't pay attention to it it's normal it's the only one normal everything is bent everything is just weird even the, the mirror perhaps uh, the paint, paintings uh, just hung weirdly at an angle the, the wall cannot be this way uh, anyhow so it's it gives lives to the picture and uh, again I'm sorry let me just zoom in this is the the one that I could find the most resolution uh, higher resolution painting but uh, image and it's just not scan high res I guess uh, so um, yeah it gives I think it gives lives to the objects so you know it's my room it's my it's my palace it, it has to be alive these are my friends almost <laughs> and uh, it gives life, life I think and also the colors makes them like personal identities it gives them identity the same idea as in the crops 
the same idea when he's doing these crops it's like this is johnny this is mary this is sebastian this one this one this one it's obviously just my interpretation you will have your own interpretation i guess and he had his own interpretation uh, but it makes everything very much alive and uh, it's not in any way classical painting but it's it's I don't know how to say it. it 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 shows something and it's beautiful all right thanks for watching